Hey guys, I'm the Tongue Man. Today I'm going to be covering LED bulbs for car applications. So what I have in front of me are uh, Oxbeam LED light bulb uh, conversion kits. You can get these plug and play and easily put it into, install it into your car in about 15 minutes or so. Uh, it's really easy. If you've installed uh, HID kits, it's exactly the same way. Just that these bulbs are LEDs rather than HIDs. So uh, LED, what does LED stand for? Uh, LED is really just light emitting diode. That's that's really what it stands for. Uh, HID on the hand, it's a high intensity discharge bulbs. Uh, and then we have halogen bulbs, uh, which are the traditional easy to produce uh, light bulbs on the older cars. Um, halogen bulbs are less expensive and way easier uh, to uh, mass produce. HID is actually more costly. It's really more common uh, recently in the past few years or past decade, I, I could say. Um, but uh, only higher end car manufacturers would actually install it into the cars like Lexus, BMW, Mercedes. Uh, these car manufacturers would um, install it on their car. Uh, cars uh, like uh, from Toyota or Hondas uh, really just had halogen bulbs. My uh, Civic came with halogen bulbs. The light output sucked on that. Mm. Uh, right now it has HID bulbs. Uh, they're mini H1s. Uh, the light output is way better than the halogen bulbs, but now I want to go into LED and see uh, how much better from um, LED to HID uh, I, I would notice. So I did some research on the internet and uh, found that uh, LED isn't really new technology. It's been around, but uh, it hasn't. The technology hasn't really caught up to uh, vehicles, uh, to cars, until just recently, uh, and it's uh, now becoming the new standard for. Uh, vehicle headlights even even Corollas have LED in their headlights now and uh, That's that's really uh, a big step for uh, um, Toyota uh, so uh, LED is better than HID because It has a better uh, light output uh, a better beam uh, You don't have any uh, hot spots anywhere um, and it doesn't take any time to power up unlike HIDs where uh, when you first turn it on, uh, it slowly, gradually get brighter. Uh, I can show you that at nighttime with my uh, RDX has a uh, factory HIDs and it does that. It, it is kind of annoying, but it's also kind of cool. Um, but but I don't know if you want to like deal with that. Uh, HID or with uh, LEDs, they go to full brightness right when you turn it on. So uh, uh, the weakest light. Output intensity are halogen bulbs. I think pretty soon now nobody's gonna be using halogen bulbs anymore. They just uh, emit too much heat, and they're just not not as bright, and they're just like outdated technology. Uh, LEDs, uh, the Kelvin scale is right around six thousand, and um, from five thousand to six thousand, that's where you want your light output to be because that's the uh, exact um, Kelvin scale of the sun right at noon. Uh, it's right now 55 to 6,000 Kelvin. So with LEDs, um, you could have full light output at nighttime, 6,000 Kelvin. So you can see way better. You can see those small animals so you can react faster. You have a wider uh, beam emission and you can see farther down the road with a better output. Um, so as humans, we can see best around 55 to 6,000 Kelvin, which is right at noon. Uh, we can see way better. Um, LEDs also have uh, unmatched longevity compared to HIDs and halogen bulbs. LEDs are uh, way better at dispersing light. Uh, they use a lot less energy compared to HIDs and halogen bulbs, and they generate a lot less heat. Um, and uh, when I was doing some of my research, I uh, found a fun fact. Uh, Lexus 
were actually the first to, uh, car manufacturer to include LEDs in the headlights, and that was in 2006. Uh, and then the next year in 2007, Audi incorporated those uh, LED technology into their R8 sports car. Yeah, so that's a pretty fun fact. All right, let's go ahead and open up one of these. Uh, I have a varying bulb sizes here. Uh, this one is uh, H1. This is the one that's gonna go into my Civic. It's gonna replace the HID. So they are pure white, 6,000 Kelvin as uh, the sunlight. Uh, these are 35 watt HID. Uh, or they uh, they exceed the output of uh, 35 watt HID kits. Uh, direct plug and play. It's really easy. If you've installed HIDs in your car in the past, it's exactly the same. So um, I got these from Oxbeam. They are the brand that makes these. Uh, here's a H4. I think this is 9003, I believe. Uh, this is going to be for like a fog light. Uh, these are uh, H11. This and again, these numbers are uh, just the bulb sizes, and these are 9005. So you can they can work in um, either headlights or fog lights or um, um, just your your standard headlights. Uh, you don't need projectors, but it's best if you have projectors, like my RDX. See, I have projectors. These are uh, really really good projectors from uh, Acura. So if you, if you have projectors, it's just a plus. You can install these on uh, standard halogen uh, headlights, but uh, I would uh, not recommend that because that light output, even though it, it'll be brighter, uh, you can see more, uh, it's just not as good uh, as um, um, projectors would do it. All right, so I'm gonna open this up and show you what's inside, what the kit includes. So let me open this up. There we go. All right, so in the box, get a little ox beam sticker. That's pretty cool. And then, and this is just, I guess, just, oh, there's some, uh, something there. I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me here. Let's see what's inside. Some manual ins installation instructions, I think. Yeah, it'll just show you how to install it. It's really easy. It's like one page of installation. Yeah, so it's fairly simple. They have the warranty stuff. Super easy. All right, so uh, here's the actual bulbs. Yeah, so this is what they look like. Ox beam. And it has three LED bulbs. I don't know if you can see, yep, there you go. Three LED bulbs. It's supposed to be super bright. I'm gonna put it back. I don't know if how sensitive these electronics are, but I'm just trying to be careful not to damage anything. Yeah, so these are the bulbs. This is what they look like. And again, if you buy a different size bulb, it'll look different. Uh, these are just uh, H1 bulbs. And uh, I don't know what's in this box. Oh, it's probably the uh, accessories. Okay, let's check it out. So these are like the ballast. It's called a decoder, all right? Yeah, they're like the ballast. Ox beam. There you go. Yeah, so that's really all you get in the kit. It's fairly easy to install. Um, you just plug it into your harness and then plug this into the kit. I have to take a look at it to actually show you guys, but uh, uh, it should be pretty easy. If you work around cars, this should be a cinch for you. Yeah, so uh, here I have it. Once I get it installed, I'll go ahead and uh, do a comparison uh, between HID and 
LED, but uh, it's the light output is supposed to be way better. Yeah, so uh, if you are interested, hit up Oxbeam. They sell their stuff uh, on Amazon. I got these from Amazon. Uh, they're really not expensive. I think the most expensive one was the, I think it was the H11 one. It's like 90 bucks or something like that. I, uh, don't quote me on that, but uh, it was, uh, it's, it's really not expensive at all. Um, and it depends on what size you want for your application. Yeah, but it's fairly simple to install. I'm pretty sure it won't take me long at all to install. Um, yeah, so, uh, Thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll go ahead and post up part two whenever I get installed and uh, show you the difference. Uh, you probably, I don't know if you're gonna notice it in the video, but uh, if you have it, if you see it in person, it, I think it'll be much more of a re rewarding experience for you to see the difference between HIDs and LEDs. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for more videos guys.